Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're doing great. As you might have seen in my last community post, I might not be able to fly for a while. So today I thought I would start up the A320 by Phoenix Simulation V2. We are sitting at Lisbon at gate 126 where we left off on our last flight. So without further ado, let's get straight onto the flight deck. Here we are in this beautiful flight deck. Let's start it up, shall we? Over onto the overhead panel, batteries 1 and 2 on we have external power available to us so let's go and use that next order of business is to ex extinguish all the white lights so all the fuel pump lights one two three four five six and a crew supply after that i like to turn on the i mean i like to arm the emergency exit lights turn on the smoking signs and then we'll leave the seat belts for later when the passengers move after that I go to the ADR system, turn on 1, then 3, then 2. Put my strobe lights to auto, my nav lights to either 1 or 2, depending on the day I'm flying. APU master switch to the on position, and that will be my overhead panel set. So usually what I do next after setting up the overhead panel is I go back to the tablet and start it up. While the ADRs are aligning, this is a perfect chance to get it all set up. If I go onto my Phoenix app, I import my flight from Simbrief. In this case, I just prepared one from Lisbon to Madeira. Then I go to the ground services, ensure that the chocks are disconnected and the door is open for a GSX to work. Now I'll go to my mass and balance and load the aircraft. Now, I usually don't use real time, okay? I use GSX and by the time this thing is loaded, GSX is, is done. Okay, so what I normally do is I use fast time. That gives enough time for the aircraft to be loaded, GSX to finish up almost in sync. So we'll do that, that'll take about 6 minutes to load. And that is basically it, alright? I go on to the performance page. I usually set up the uh, load sheet with the preliminary plus one T before everything is loaded in just to get it going and it doesn't uh, miss the actual figures by much. And I always ensure that the packs are off for departure as that is our company's uh, standard SOPs. Go ahead and input the ICAO code of the uh, airport we're departing and we can sync the live weather and make it super easy for us. All we need to decide now is where we're going to be taking off from. Are we going to be using full length? Are we going to be departing from November 2 or from Papa? We're going to be doing a full length departure. Hit calculate and you will have your V1, your VR and all the remaining information so you can input it into this MCDU which we'll move on to next. Now the MCDU setup, okay? They are independent, the left and the right one. So, as I'm flying alone, what I usually do is I use the ATSU on the right and the FMGC on the uh, left. So, that's what I'm going to do. I go on to AOC menu, flight init, init data requests. That will load up the initial data from, uh, from the flight. In the meantime, I just go over here, do init request, and that will import every information from the uh, Simbri flight plan, which makes our life a lot easier. Really a lot easier. All we have left to input now is just the flight number, which I already did, the cost index, which I already did, and the cruise flight level, which I already did. The second page of the init um, page, I usually leave after uh, the boarding has been completed by uh, the Phoenix app. That way I have the uh, actual correct amount of block fuel to input. As far as I understand, the, uh, the boarding is now complete. So we'll go ahead and do that. We have all the uh, planned fuel on board, so that's going to be 7.3. We can now access the receive messages page to look at the load sheet. We now have the final load sheet. We'll accept that one and take a look at the values. Move over to the second page and you have 57.1 and zero fuel weight, correct. And then you have the um, zero fuel weight CG 
which is gonna be 29.8 so we need to rectify that 29.8 and the block fuel 7.3 which matches the the one that the load sheet says and the one that was planned so we'll do 7.3 sweet so that is this part set up we'll move over to the flight plan just insert your departure we'll do whatever whatever is in the flight plan we'll just take a quick look should be cancel 8 zero we'll do oh it's actually a runway two zero so we'll do cancel 8 zero here we go insert and that should be sorted now onto the arrival, we are expecting leader one Papa for runway two three. So we'll do a R now for two three leader one Papa arrival sir. Okay, just check the flight plan for any discontinuities, which we have here. And to clear it up, we just to hit the clear. It is and insert, and that should be it. Now that the init page and the um, flight plan page are completed, what I usually do is I set up the rest of the aircraft before moving on to the performance. Let's go ahead and set that. We'll go over here to the MCP and set up the local QNH that today is uh, 1011. We'll set up our uh, departure uh, initial climb clearance, which is uh, flight level 60. Make sure the flight directors are on. Do constraints on the left side and airport on the right side for the pound monitoring. Go down here to the radio stack and input the unicom frequency. And in the case for any air taxi pilots, we also input on radio 2 the company frequency so we can speak on VATSIM freely without any uh, worries. That will be 131.6. There we go. We also input our squawk, whatever is given to us by ATC, but the standard one will be 2000 for any IFR flight. Make sure you lock that door. That is it for now. We'll go ahead and fire up our APU, turn on the seatbelt signs, and set up our performance. So Sync the final load sheet, live weather, calculate. We have V1 144, 144, 146, 1 up 0 0.1, and flex 68. Go ahead and, head and input that on our performance 144, 144, 146, 1 up 0. That's not it up 0 0.1 and I believe flex 68 let's just confirm that correct sweet as a performance taken and we can now get ready for the pushback go ahead and do our beacon on Make sure we have APU bleed turn off the external power as we don't need it anymore and I'm gonna use uh, I'm going to use Phoenix's pushback system today instead of GSX. So we go to ground services, disconnect GPU, connect the tug, release the parking brake, and start pushback. When we are clear of the gate, we will start our engines. To do that, it's pretty simple. So head over down here, switch the engine mode selector to start. Once the page loads up like that, it's uh, engine number two. We'll stop the push back here before it's too late. <laughs> Alrighty, set the parking brake. Disconnect the tug. 
Okay, we also have engine 2 properly started now. Let's go ahead and start engine 1. As we have pushed back, we're going to be turning on our transponder. Charlie. Now we just wait. Okay, engine 1 has a good start as well. Now all we gotta do set the auto brake to max, engine mode selected to normal, ground spoiler arm, set the flaps to whatever it was set on the air performance. The weather radar on, the predictive wind shear system on. And that is it. We will be ready to taxi once we come on with the lights and turn off our AP lead and master switch. So that is it. That is the way I set up my A320 once I uh, go flying. It is on VATSIM or offline, doesn't matter. I hope you enjoy and I hope you learned something. Till the next one, safe flights to everyone. See you!